it's time to set up my creative journal for the month of September. <music> this is Priya here welcome back to my channel if you're returning and if this is the first time thank you so much for stopping by here I share tips ideas and inspiration to make your planner and journal spreads pretty and functional so this is my creative journal that I decorate once a month so these are some extra pages that I did for back to school I used the washi tapes from the washi tape shop and I just used uh, my liners to draw a floral wine and these alphas and this was the second page and i'm filming this a bit ahead so that is why this is still unwritten and uh, this is where we will start so if you saw my pre-planned video if you haven't checked that out i will link it here and uh, these are some of the washi flakes that i have from journal c and i also have a few washi tapes and a few sticker books from plan thing and kesteric plans as of the day of filming these are this book is still available to pick up and uh, a few of these are available to pick up this is on sale and so is this and uh, you can use my code priya10 for 10 percent off it uh, anything and uh, the wash uh, the journal C also you can use my code Priya the journal is from Archer and Olive and Priya 10 works there as well and this is still available to pick up and my affiliate link with Kesarik plants is down in the description you can use that until the end of September yeah let's get started and this would also be the video for the YouTube collab loop group and the theme for this month is fall so that's why I have all the fall things out. I will talk to you a bit more in detail what, what that is if you are not sure of what how the loop group works. And uh, I will talk to you as I work along. So usually I try to do a few pages, like four or five pages. And I think I will have until the end of the year because September, October, November, and December, and I should be done with the book. And uh, yeah, I will be, I'm excited. I get to pick another journal for next year because I'm not sure whether I'll stick to be eight by eight. I'm loving this size, so I might. And uh, let me see what I have. Yeah, let's get to, that's a lot of talking. So these are some of the, Journal C does have a lot of fun things like these. So since it is about the start of fall, I want to retain some of that green elements and maybe this is, I don't want to go entirely reds and browns with this one because I would think that uh, if you are lucky to have the color changes where you are at, this might be the case or it could be kind of you know just a bit more darker because i hear lots of people who have witnessed the color changes already so this is a bit too much so just taking the time to see what will work for that start of the fall things yeah this does have some of those yellows coming in so maybe this too yeah let's move the rest aside yeah, i think i will stick to i don't want it to overpower because this is entirely green i'm not sure so maybe yeah just starting to change colors so i'll just have these three handy And this is in fact uh, some of the lighting that you can have. This is called under romantic lighting. And these are some of the fall leaves that you can see in here. And I'm sticking to the simpler ones because yeah, I don't want to go too crazy. So I'm just having those two out 
because these ones are definitely yeah much darker we still have october and november so just trying to use as much of these dash as possible and that is the advantage with uh, pre-planning right and usually i have my videos and fast forward and do the voice I, and i do the voiceover but i'm trying to be a bit more mindful of what i'm trying to do so that is why i have decided to do this this way and uh, i am a bit rusty so please bear with me and uh, yeah this does have a lot of those colors as you can see yeah just these four i will have out and i will be using all these washi tapes that you see and once i start i can talk to you a bit more about uh, the loop group so for the fall ones we do have these bigger scenes and one is on paper one is on clear and yeah we'd have all of these and i might even bring in some distress oxides because yeah this is the season for all the colors so this is the fall set but i'm not sure i want to go full on fall here so we do have the autumn days is from a recent subscription box and uh, the latest one has lots more fa fall stuff going on so just i might bring in some of these in conjunction with these mushrooms and uh, let's see we could make like a whimsical scene and for the functional boxes in addition to all the functional elements in these books i do have this one which i could grab a couple of the bigger boxes if i need to and as you can see i have used up a lot of this already but i do have a spare book if i need to i usually wait until the sales happen to pick up extra copies especially such ones because it's a great way of bringing in color and now is the time because this one is on sale so this would be the landing page and i believe let's see let's uh, figure out the dutch door situation first because i would be starting here and i am yeah at least this much i will need yeah so this will be september yeah let's start here i have all the tools i'm using including my handy gyro cut i have linked all the products down in the description and if you are picking up the gyro cut do not go for the knockoffs. You might want to invest in the real deal because this is a bit pricey, but it is worth it. So don't you ever think of going for the knockoffs. It makes the world of a difference. I'm trying to decide what elements I can bring in for the last page, not the last page, the second last page so that we can have another outdoor scene behind that and i'm trying to see what other cozy elements we can bring in for the in indoors so that we can have the indoors on one side and the outdoors on the other so just going with that table setting and these books have lots of uh, smaller elements and multiple sizes to choose from and that washi tape is from plenty thing and just trimming off around the circle there because these do have a small edge so that is why there is a small gap and just fixing that straight and cutting around that sticker so that it can stick a bit out 
and we can have the same to see on the other side of the page. So that's the touch door, one of the touch doors done. And uh, I'm also bringing in that washi flake. And I think I will wait on that. Let's complete the other scene behind there. Just trying to make sure most of it is visible. And that scene, which no, I need something else there. So trying to see what else we can use. And Planny thing has lots of fall things going on right now, including some of the newer ones and some of the older ones. And uh, this was from last year. And I still have a lot of unused stickers in this book. And I really wanted to be intentional about using up my stash. And so I did not pick up anything new from since August, I must say, because I had hopped on the subscription boxes and uh, yeah, I thought I had enough in my stash to cover for at least a good portion of fall. So I did not uh, get the subscription box for September. And I will also throw a, a bit more light on how the YouTube collab loop group works. So if you are starting with somebody's, it, it can be mine or anybody else from the loop, you can continue with the loop and watch the next person's video, which is linked down in the description. And you keep on going until you get back to the person you started with. And a huge shout out to Lisa Marie at Creatively Lisa Marie for hosting the loop groups and also to Gail and Angelique for the extra support that she needs. Thank you ladies for all the efforts. We truly, truly appreciate you. And I'm trying to see what else I can bring behind that page so that we can have a cozy cascading kind of uh, scenes for a seamless Dutch door look because you need to have something to see on every page, right? So just trying to line up that, which goes perfect with the colors and the theme. Uh, Planet Thing does have lots of scalloped washies and uh, I happen to have only this one, but uh, there are lots more colors to choose from. Next, I'm bringing in the washi flakes just those tree branches with those lights and those leaves in multiple colors so just a few peeking out of here and there and going with another washi for the base i'm just making sure that it will be nicely visible at every page and uh, yeah just making sure it is straight or just marking it so that I will know where to cut or at least double check that it is nice and uh, visible and then doing some layering there before I can trim around that and uh, yeah the, you can uh, use all of these fall stickers and sticker books interchangeably or they coordinate perfectly well so have you started officially decorating for fall yet because i think it's officially it started on the 22nd or i'm filming this and editing this a bit early so i should say it starts on the 22nd and by the time you see this video it will officially have been fall so yes i can say past tense then so just that tree branch and all, the, all those cute house scenes and the outdoors and uh, some of these elements will come in handy when we do the symmetrical pages on the pages behind that so all the pages that will go on the left side will need to have symmetrical elements 
So just mixing in some of those smaller elements to bring some interest for when you turn the page. And next I will try and see what else I can bring in on the left side. I did not want to use the exact same thing. So just trying to see what will look nice even when we turn the page. So that washi flake, it does have like a, a an iridescent look to it, but in person it is gorgeous, but I'm not sure how well it shows on the camera. I'm, I, I have a feeling getting the pictures to do justice to this is going to be really tough. And I think I will also go for some distress oxides after this. And that's a beautiful outdoor scene. And I'm trying to see where I can use that washi to bring some coordinating colors. That's a bit crooked, but I think it's okay. Just cutting around the edge of that sticker and that will just be on the edge of the page when you turn it so that's gorgeous so right next to that i think this will be yeah just trying to see which one look which look better will look better i mean so that stripe actually will look really nice next to the scallops and again i you can entirely skip this and keep this part of the page clean but I would rather not and I really love when I can have something to look at on every side so just brought those two in if you can't find a big piece to match the shape you can always use multiple elements to bring in that interest and that is another tip and I do have tutorials on the creative journaling and the journaling in general and how you can try new techniques and get creative in your journals and planners including the supplies you need so i have done tutorials on that and also for the gyro cut somebody had mentioned that they would like to have a tutorial because i they think that i use the gyro cut with ease but the only trick to that is use it more practice more and it will come to you so just trying to play around and find the, the elements that will go well there i don't want to cut a lot of those gorgeous elements so that is the reason i'm trying to figure out what will look better there just trimming off that edge or that tail of the pumpkin and we need the washi tape for this page now just trying to make sure that the patterns don't get repeated when we look at a whole page as such so i don't want the same things to be seen on both the pages when I have the entire journal open. So do you have a creative journal in your life? And uh, what do you, is it just pen and paper or other mediums you would like to try? And that is, I think pretty much all of those layers done and on to adding some boxes now. And I will come and add more decorative elements once i have the boxes in place i used to skip the boxes entirely and then slowly i think i'm bringing in more boxes because why not we all of us have ample supply of boxes so i think we can all afford to bring in more so just making use of that excuse to bring in more and then clustering these circles with the solid colored ones and the colors just on the borders that's a great way to bring in color and some interest and you will also see how i bring some of the smaller elements as part of the clusters with the boxes 
So that is again a great way of bringing in such fun elements and those tinier ones are perfect for those. And it does give an illusion of more dimension or depth or something. You know what I mean? And uh, let me know if you agree with what I say, because everybody thinks differently. We are all, our brains are all different. We are all different. And uh, I really love how it is coming together. And uh, the once I add the distress oxides, you will see how it looks very different from what you see now. And uh, bringing in a couple of the smaller coats. Yeah, I would rather take up the minimum amount of space. So that is all the, yeah, I think I've used up all these smaller elements and that is a great way of having that seamless look, especially if you wanna go across two pages, just use a washi cutter or a ruler and just make sure it is nice and snug against that spine and uh, just got another longer thinner quotes for the other spaces so this is my mini things and i'm taking the scattered straw and i usually store the sponge behind here you can get these velcro dots and this is a great way of storing them scattered straw i believe will be the perfect color for the ground so let's try and get the ink here before that let me just cut the edges it actually does look full when you have the smaller leaves sticking out like so so onto the ends so I'm just going to use this color which would be roughly that shade of the haystack Something like the ground they can pretend to be. See how that edge of the clear sticker gives it that illusion that it is not really part of the ground and it is just a bit three dimensional. I do have tutorials on using the distress inks and oxides in creative ways in your planner and journals. So I will have the tutorials linked. Please feel free to check this out and uh, let, let me know if there is anything you want me to cover. I am working on another video for the distress oxides and in series and if you would like me to address anything specific let me know and i can include that as well i could have sped this up which i normally do but i thought it would be nice to include it as such as and when it happens in real time so that is why you see this in real time I'm just going in just to make sure the ground has a uniform coverage and still make it look seamless against the page. And it just takes a couple of minutes for the distress inks and oxides to dry. So you do not have to worry about it. I know a lot of people had been skeptical about it, thinking it might just smear. I do cover all the basics on how you can have a neat finish, a clean finish rather on your projects and how you can be careful about not smearing. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have anything specific I should address. I do have uh, the flip throughs of my creative journal that will be coming, flip through, I mean. So stay tuned for that towards the end of the year. And I'm also going to take my Pentel Touch, the brush pin, to actually write. I know it's a bit brighter than the rest of it, but yeah, I think I will. Yeah. So let's do a recap and a quick flip through. 
We used a few sticker books from Plani Thing. I will link the shop. Please check out all the gorgeous stickers that she has. And uh, I also have the seasonal scene from Kesarik Plants, which is still in stock. I used up a lot of those. And the washi tapes are all from Plani Thing. I did bring in some of these washi flakes from Journal C. I will have all the links and codes that I mentioned. And now let's do a flip through. So this is the landing page. And as you can see, I do have three, four Dutch doors. And I really, really love how this turned out. I think I should add more boxes every time. And just brought in all the cozy vibes. And this is what we have. Let me know what of these, which of these pages you like the most. And whether you do Dutch doors in your creative journal, if at all you do have one. And uh, please check out the next video in the loop. I will have that linked. And please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and all of our channels. Leave us a word of encouragement and Please come follow me on Instagram. I will have all my details down in the description. Please use my affiliate links and codes. It's a great way to support me and my channel at no extra cost to you. And it would truly mean the world to me. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in my next one. Bye.